Hello everybody, welcome back to the video series lecture of PPS and that is Programming for Problem Solving. My name is Jinal Jala and I am your instructor of this subject. In previous video, we had already started our fifth module that is User Defined Function. And in that module, we have already covered first two topic. First topic is introduction of function and different elements of function that how we can create a program using function. Then after next topic, we have already seen that is different categories of function means one same program. We can write four different method using four different categories. And today in this video lecture, we are going to start our third topic that is different parameter passing method. So let's start. First of all, what do you mean by parameters? So in program, when we declare our function or function call or function definition in that portion, we can use in bracket different variables for operations. So these different variables are called as a parameters or we can also say it is a argument. So these parameters are mainly divided into two categories. First is an actual parameter and second is a formal parameters. Now what do you mean by actual parameters? When you call the function in our main function, at that time you pass the variables. That variables or parameters are called as a actual parameters because we are passing the value of that variables. That's why it is a actual parameter. And what do you mean by formal parameters? So the parameter which we are used in function declaration part and function definition part those all are called as a formal parameters. So these are the types of parameters and these parameters we can pass in two different ways. Our actual parameters we can pass in two different ways. So the methods are first is a call by value and second is a call by reference. So let's see one by one each of them. Very first method is call by value. In call by value concept, we are passing the values of actual parameters. So the process all time done on formal parameters only. But if you want to do change in actual as well as formal, then you have to use the another concept that is call by reference. How we can use it? So let's see with one example of swapping of two numbers. So I want to do swapping of two numbers means A is equal to 10 and B is equal to 5. After some operation, I want to interchange the value of A and B. So it is possible using function. So let's see first of all function declaration part. So I'm writing void then swap means here we are doing swapping. That's why function name is swap. And in bracket, I am passing two formal parameters. One is an integer a and second is an integer b. Now, write the main function. So, in void main, I am writing two actual parameters that is integer x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 5. Now, I am calling the function that is swap. And in swap function, I am passing the values of x and y here. So, x comma y. So when this function call, our control goes to the function definition and the value of x will be passed to our formal parameter a and value of actual parameter y will be passed to our formal parameter b. So here in function definition, just to see that void swap integer a comma integer b. Now how we can swap the numbers? So we can swap uh, two numbers using two different method either using temporary variable or directly with using some arithmetic operators but here I am using one temporary variable for swapping why temporary variable is required because directly I am writing a is equal to b in that case the value of b will be copied in our a variable but now I want to change the value of b but it is not possible because right now our a and b both are the same so in this case we have to use temporary variable and first store the value of a in temporary variable so just to declare the variable integer t in function definition 
and first step is t is equal to a means initially the value of a will be stored in t variable so t become 10 now now i can replace the value of a variable so now i'm writing a is equal to b so the value of b is copy in a so now a become 5 now i want to change the value of b so our initial value of a is stored in our t variable so last statement is b is equal to t so tan will be stored in our b variable so here you can see that a and b both are interchange now so once printf statement here that a is equal to percentage d b is equal to percentage d a comma b so our output is like a is equal to 5 and b is equal to 10 but now our control goes in the main function and after function calling again one printf statement is there and in that printf function i am printing the value of x and y but just to see here we are passing only values of x and y so the whole process done on our formal parameters that those are a and b so our x and y are as it is now our x value is 10 as it is and y value 5 as it is so you can see here that you have a used logic of swapping but your actual parameters values are not swapped here just to see how it will stored in memory so first of all when integer x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 5 execute in memory uh, particular at one location x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 5 will be stored here you can see the random address 1000 is the memory address of our x variable and 1002 is the memory address of y variable now when our swap function call our control goes to the function definition and here below you can see the function definition so when this definition call again two new variables are introduced integer a and integer b so for that again a store at particular location and b store at particular memory location so here 1004 is the memory address of a variable and 1006 is the memory address of b variable now we are passing the copy of x and y to our a and b so in a 10 will be stored and in b 5 will be stored but after uh, executing our logic of swapping a become 5 and b become 10 but when you print the value of x and y x and y are as it is so this is the concept of call by value now uh, i want to change the value of actual parameters also then in this case i have to use our second method that is call by reference so let's see the same example I have explained here but some uh, another concept used here. In first fu function declaration uh, void as a return type then swap is our function name and integer asterisk a and integer asterisk b. Now what do you mean by asterisk a asterisk b? So this star indicate that this variable is a pointer variable. Now what do you mean by pointer we have to learn the pointer module in next videos upcoming videos but i'm just telling the basic of pointer that pointer variable always used to store the address of another variable means by using pointer we can store the address of another variable as well as we can access the value of that particular address how so the same program i'm writing here first of all write the main function then after in main declare two actual parameters that is integer x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 5 and here call the function that name is swap and in bracket i'm passing address of particular variable here see the change uh, in previous example, I am passing just x and y, the value of uh, x and y. But here I am passing the address of x and address of y. This m% symbol indicate address of any variable. So, when this function called, our control goes to the function definition. 
So uh, just to see the definition, void swap integer star a integer star b. So in pointer a, address of x will be stored and in pointer b, address of y will be stored. So uh, if you want to do swapping, then again declare the temporary variable integer t. And by using this pointer, we can access the value of x also. So here t is equal to star a means the value of x that is 10 will be stored in t variable. Now asterisk a is equal to asterisk b. So the value of b and value of b means value of y will be stored in a variable and star b is equal to t. So in t the value 10 is stored that is copy into our pointer b and our pointer that is reference to the y variable. So when you print this line that a is equal to percentage d and b is equal to percentage d asterisk a asterisk b. So our output is like a is equal to 5, b is equal to 10. Now our control goes to the main section and again one printf is there and print to the value of x and y. Now what will be the output here x and y also swap. So our x become 5 and y become 10. How? So let's see graphically here. First when our function main function call First of all, x is equal to 10 and y is equal to 5 stored at particular location. The same address I have taken here that 1000 is for x and 1002 is for y. Now, uh, when swap m person x comma m person y call, our control goes to the function definition. Here you can see the definition. Now, what happened? A uh, two pointer variable declare in and store in memory. So. Uh, pointer A is stored at suppose 1004 and pointer B is stored at location 1006. In this variable not store the value. It will used to store address. So here you can see that the address of x which is 1000. So 1000 stored in pointer A and address of y which is stored in pointer b that is 1002 so 1002 stored in pointer b now using pointer we can access the address of x as well as the value of that particular address of x so address is 1000 of x and the value is 10 so here we are swapping so when this swapping done the values of particular address will be interchanged. So at the place of 1000, 5 will be stored and at the place of 1002, 10 will be stored. So here we can say that our actual parameters are also swapped because we are processed on directly address. That's why. So finally our output is like A is equal to 5, B is equal to 10 and X is equal to 5 and Y is equal to 10. So here our actual as well as formal both are swapped. So the conclusion is like just to see here that in which case uh, our actual parameters are modified in call by value no in call by value as it is and in call by reference yes you can see the change. So in this way we can pass the parameters. Hope guys you understand the lecture very well. If you have any query then you can contact me anytime. We will meet you soon. Till then take care. Bye bye. Thank you so much.